So this is a bit more flying on Sunday, the 2nd of October. There was four trials riders from the, the local area up on the hill, so they were chatting away. Mainly asking about just how easy it is to sort out when they were looking at all the strings. So part of this uh, being very light conditions at the moment, just enough to be able to top land after maybe a beat along and back. But uh, not really lifty, so it's a, just a wee chat to them and a little bit of demonstration. So the day was like this, sometimes it was really good lift, other times it was just flyable but uh, not much walking up but uh, not exactly a lot of lift. And with such a nice day, quite a lot of folks up on the hill out walking, in this case out trials riding and uh, often runners that would come up and then just stop we were checking their heart rate and uh, have a wee chat for 5-10 minutes and then head off Yes, he's just commenting on all the strings and uh, having a laugh at the fact that they tend to fly with uh, the boot laces are tied, but uh, leave them loose so the feet don't get too hot. Well, it was a, a cold day, warm boots on. So none of the guys uh, were pilots, they didn't have any particular interest in aviation in general but they were asking some really good questions so it was, uh, that was quite nice just to chat away while uh, it wasn't too flyable. And they're also commenting on uh, a couple of the other paraglider pilots that they've seen flying here over the years and uh, one, the chap that's actually just to my left there was saying that he actually hiked up the hill because it looked like the guy had uh, crashed. Uh, the guy was okay, but uh, you know, it wasn't the best of landings. But Louis was heading away home, he'd sort of seen the, the glider go down rather rapidly and decided, well, yeah, I better go check. So he'd hiked up the hill and found the guy. But uh, I think he was just getting his wing out the gorse bushes in the, the rocky area, but uh, otherwise undamaged. So it was good of them anyway, keeping an eye on people. So of course a lot of looking round here isn't so much when you're chatting, it is literally the normal checking the airspace. As you can see there, take it off, nice wee bit of lift. But it's just little bubbles. And the, the wee low level thermal having gone past, you've only got just enough ridge lift so you don't waste the time, come in and spot her down. Let the wing roll slightly to the left and you can then jog back up to the top. Well, in this case, okay, let the wing drop so clearly that? that was the lift had gone past. Um, see that's so we'll do an ice cream scoop now. Check the airspace, we slide, second bounce and sort it. There you go, three quarters of a wing. And that easy. So quite clearly you could see there, although you can only pull the wing at 90 degrees to the cord, just like, just so like basically you can only pull it downhill, by using the airflow and the controls I was able to get the wing to side slip, in that case it was side slipping left, so from our viewpoint to the right, but you always discuss it based on the wing's perspective. With the waterproof housing for the camera you don't really get very good audio. But you can just about make out sometimes what's being said. That's what's 
As well as obviously looking at the folks you chat to, you constantly check the airspace. Now while I don't do it with the camera because it tends to upset the exposure, in actual flying circumstances you'd also be looking behind, say if there was a hang glider overshooting, and you'd be looking up for other folks that are soaring. And of course your eyes can see a much wider, including up and down, much wider view than you'll get in the camera. The chap with the green top was asking some particularly good questions. Yep, and we stepped the wrong way and straight into the beat. And again, you can see I've taken off just into a little bubble of lift. So, you're gaining a wee bit of height. into the wee bubble and then before it dives I shout to dive, change of the air and just down. Wait, wait, wait. Check the airspace. So see how I said it's going to dive before it dived. The air changes. So I was flying out of lift. So because you're reading the wing using the risers, it's not the brakes, it's you're reading the wing using the risers, you're analysing your ground speed, things like that, you can assess, particularly when you're flying low level, what's about to happen. You can't go up unless the air is going up faster than you're going down, because the glider you go up is going down. 